Let's take a look at a frequency analysis, which is what we're doing today, to see how much low bass is actually in recordings. Uh, this is the Rush album. Um, it's the song Tom Sawyer. Let's take a look at that and see what we have here. It has not clipped. There's no red lines in here. It is not distorted. So it looks like a pretty clean recording. Let's take a look at the uh, spectral analysis and see what we have here. Let's take a look at the frequency analysis here of Tom Sawyer. And we did a spectral analysis of it to show you the bass that's actually in the recording. Looks to me like around the peak of the bass is somewhere around 50 to 60 hertz. It begins to roll off around 46 hertz. And at, say, 30 hertz, you're looking at minus 46 decibels versus its peak appears to be minus 26. So it is 20 decibels down at 30 hertz, not much bass information down there. So a moderately sized woofer shouldn't have any trouble reproducing the bass in this recording. Let's next take a look at James Blake. He is an electronic recording artist. Uh, this is well-known recording, uh, supposedly with very deep bass in it. We can take a look at this song here, Limit to Your Love. As you can see here, it's clipped. It's clipped here, here, and here, meaning that it is overdriven. The recording has been overdriven. Sometimes this is caused by very deep bass lines. You can see here that it is also compressed. Flat at the top, compression here, some compression in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this spectral analysis and see how deep the bass actually goes on this recording. Here's the James Blake recording, Limit to Your Love. Uh, this is the spectral analysis and we're going to show you where the bass is primarily at. Looks to me like it's right around, oh, say 46 hertz. It's minus 9 decibels. At 30 hertz, you're looking at, say, minus 36 decibels. So what is it? 15 decibels down at 30 hertz. A moderately sized woofer should be able to reproduce this bass. Uh, the vast majority of it is, once again, uh, say, above... Oh, 31 hertz. So there you go. This is a well-renowned recording, as I was told, for a very, very deep bass. And there you have James Blake. This is Miles Davis' Kind of Blue. Pretty famous jazz recording, I would say. Uh, this is the frequency response. I mean, this is the actual waveform of Kind of Blue. There is no clipping to be seen that I can detect, so it's not overdriven. It's recorded very well. Nice waveform here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at its frequency distribution as far as its bass response goes. Miles Davis kind of blue, so what frequency response analysis? Well, let's take a look and see what the peak is. This has got some nice natural bass in here. I don't think they used an electronic bass in those days, but if they did, it wasn't very much. Let's take a look and see here. Uh, we're at 73 hertz at the peak. That is at 27 decibels. Minus 27. Here we're at another peak at 66 hertz, which is only one decibel down from there. Then around 30 hertz, we've got an interesting peak here that is around 34 hertz. So it's minus 40, minus 26. What do you have? 14 dBs down. That's fairly low. You might be able to hear that, but the vast majority of the bass seems to be from around, oh, say 50 hertz on up. So that's Miles Davis, So What, from the Kind of Blue album. So that's where bass responses are. We picked a pretty good selection of recordings here just to show you where most bass is located and what size woofer you might need to select to reproduce that. This is Sigur Ross Brennestein, uh, pretty heavily clipped here, I'm thinking. 
this is all clipping in here and it is overly driven into the digital medium so it's going to clip uh, it's also pretty compressed so let's take a look at the spectral analysis of this so called bass heavy recording this is uh, Sigur Ross Brennestein this is a renowned bass heavy recording from the Icelandic artist Sigur Ross so let's take a look and see where the bass heavy is it appears to me to be around 66 hertz where it's minus 14 we have another peak down here around 58 hertz so it's about six or seven dbs down from there it rolls off from there at say let's say let's look at 30 hertz here 30 hertz is minus 35 decibels and the peak is at minus 14 so we're looking at what uh i don't know 10 to, uh, 20 decibels down it's pretty hard to hear this so this is Sigur Ross Brennestein. This pretty much wraps up where we're at with our frequency and spectral analysis, just to show you where the bass actually is in a nice selection of recordings.